Um, well, through a number of obsessions, I now call myself a sound artist. Um, I make instruments that experiment with sound. These obsessions are collaboration, inventing, and music. So it started as a fundraising awareness challenge before towards a disease I have called charcot marie tooth disease. Um, I promised that for every instrument I would, uh, for every $500 I was donated, I would invent, build, and perform an experimental instrument, um, which was all well and good until we started it, and uh, it was pretty popular, and people started donating a lot of money, and within the first week we had $2,000 and I realized that I needed some help in making these instruments. So we started a collective called CMT Creates Music, and uh, a lot of people helped me build these things. So as we started designing them, uh, we were also documenting what we were doing. Um, this is my blackboard, which we were working out, the, the bubble organ. Um, and we would start posting this stuff online, and people were curious, and they, it started to have a, a pretty decent following. So. We decided to take advantage of this following and also post uh, personal blogs or personal stories about having CMT um, alongside this sort of more enthralling uh, inventions. So this is Anthony Zane, who, is, uh, who writes for the, um, the, I'll remember in a minute, the US Olympic team. <laughs> Some people may have heard of that. <laughs> but he too has CMT. So this is how... I'll get used to the microphone. This is how the, um, the bubble organ turned out. This was the first of our instruments. Uh, pretty much all of the instruments are also made entirely out of recycled materials. You can see the, the paint buckets. Thank you. <laughs> um, blowing air into these different length tubes to make, to make an organ, a weird sounding organ. So we've built 10 instruments so far. Um, and each of them has been built by or led by a different artist. Um, this one is led by H.J. Moyd, who is a printmaker. This is the Tinkler. Um, he started his design process with, through a series of prints. Um, this one here is the Chime Forest, uh, which is, you can't really make it out, but believe me, there is 18 motors that can be raised and lowered uh, into tuned vases. Um, this one was led by Sam Hernandez in the cowboy hat, and he is a solar engineer and electrician, so he's bringing his expertise to this instrument. This time the inventor is Will Longstreth, uh, who is a bike racer, and he invented um, this instrument that you can play whilst cycling along on what is a remarkably expensive bike. <laughs> You, you control it from the handlebars, and it triggers sounds that, that plunge into the spokes in the back. It's very, very popular with the hipsters. <laughs> this, this one is by my wife, Claire Phillips. This is the, the sound swing. Um, each of these boxes has golf balls in it, and they're suspended on different length pendulums, so they tick-tock uh, at different rates. Um, so they're, they're exploring uh, decaying polyrhythms, but, but anyone can activate them. So we got invited to, um, to perform. This was our first uh, experimental music festival, which was a proud moment. Um, it also is a great example. You can see in the background the string totter, which is an example that instruments don't need to be safe to use. <laughs> but the hats are essential. So we, we got invited to go to different festivals. This is at the Sub-Zero Sub Festival in San Jose. We are here tonight with the instrument next door. Um, using the instruments as a vehicle to talk about CMT, uh, to engage people in conversation, but also just to encourage inventing. This one's amplified this time by, uh, by reclaimed telephone microphones. So I wanted to round up by explaining this latest instrument and giving you an insight into kind of all the people and all the moving parts um, that made up the process of inventing it. <laughs> so this was my idea. I wanted to make a drum machine. Um, I started with this proof of concept. So I've cut out uh, gears by hand, and you can see it's got a little wooden ramp that comes around, and it picks up the drumstick, and it drops it down on the drum head. Uh, it's a drum machine, and it works. It's got a hand crank, but it's, it's a little simplistic. After, after a minute, it gets a bit boring. <laughs> so this is me at the pick and pull. This was my first time. 
and it was a marvelous experience. I, I, wanted to be, I wanted it to run on it by itself, so I needed a motor. The consensus was I needed a windshield wiper motor because it will last for years. And true enough, every one of these cars still had their windshield wiper motor. <laughs> then I needed to control it. Uh, so I started working with an electrician. This is me learning how to use a 555 timer, which allows us to control the speed. But the point being is that each time I'm collaborating with someone new, it's bringing an approach that I just wouldn't have come to by myself. This is how we got to scale up the instrument and to the sort of the size that you're seeing back there. Um, this is from a, a fabrication shop called Delphi that very kindly let me use their giant state-of-the-art CNC router. It took me about two hours to cut one of these gears by hand. It took half an hour to do 72 gears right there. <laughs> So my idea for the instrument was to explore um, cross rhythms and uh, different patterns, both like visually, uh, tactilely, and uh, sonically. But we got a, um, an artist in residency, this is at the Oakland Museum, uh, to test these ideas out with visitors and see if they could push them further. And they did. Um, in, in many unexpected ways. But I think the, the biggest success was that uh, so many people could work on it together at one time, um, whether they were young or old, whether they were musicians or non-musicians. Uh, this, this one is being shown playing a drum kit. Tonight we're, we're playing the, uh, the metal tubes. So uh, this is what I'm going to be showing next door. And given that I'm obsessed with collaboration, inventing and music, I invite you to come in uh, rather than just listen to me and help join in playing the music. Thank you very much.